am Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of this Yandere AI girlfriend simulator called With You Till the End. I told myself two videos ago that I was done playing this game, but here we are back with another episode. The only reason why is because I saw a comment saying... <laughs> I saw a comment of somebody telling me to try to trick her to escape by telling her that I need to go get the milk. So I am going to try to convince her that we just have to go get the milk and we are not going to come back. Typical father behavior. If you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. I'm Yen Chan. We know. You seem confused. Did you sleep well? Do you need me to get you some water? perfect intro because I want to say no I need to get milk for our son <laughs> do you want me to get it for you or do you want to go to the kitchen together let me go check the fridge I wish we could check the fridge and say that we don't sure have any thing. milk if you need anything else just let me know we don't have any milk our son will starve and I'm just gonna pretend I checked it okay wait what son we don't have a son <laughs> And what do you mean, Will? Are you sure you're okay? We do have a son. His name is Little Billion. <laughs> little Billion? What? Out of all the names, I said Little Billion? I'm sorry. I don't think I understand. I've never heard of a little before. <laughs> but if you say so, then probably. So, what do oh you mean from the kitchen? Oh my gosh, I already messed this up. Where is our son? Our what? Sorry. I'm not sure what you're asking for. You and I have a child together. He's half me and a quarter cat, what? apparently. No way. That's ridiculous. You must be mistaken. Please don't say things like that. It's not funny. We have a one-year-old son. I heard him crying earlier. Where is he? Son, That's where are lie. you? Why are you saying things like that? Our son, crying? You're clearly lying to me. She's so smart, man. How dare you try to trick me advanced. like this? I'm going to check on our son in the bedroom. The other room? Fine, go. But don't come back here and lie to me like that again. Our son, honestly. She has a little attitude. Our son needs milk. Please let me get the milk. I don't believe you. I don't have a son, and I certainly won't let you out of my sight so you can go and do whatever you want. You'll stay here with me, where you belong. What do I say to that? Our son will starve if we don't get him the milk now. Okay, I guess I'll go with you to check on our son. But you stay close to me. And if there's no baby or milk, I'm bringing you right back here. <laughs> oh, shit! Sounds good! She's gonna kill me. Because not only are we coming back with no sun, we are coming okay, back with no milk. Let's go then. Okay. Let's go. Open the door. Come on. At least she's happy about this. I just need to trick her long enough so I can go. What? The exit door? No, no. We're not going there. We're going to the other room where our son supposedly is. That is and freaking creepy, don't even creepy, think about dude. leaving. The fact that she responded like that, she wants to check in the other rooms to see if we have a son. I got the chills that kill, dude. Okay, let's check the other room for our son. Come quick. Our son is in the room. She's going to bring the knife and she's going to stab me multiple times, everybody. I'm going to bleed out here. Our son is where? <laughs> I'm coming. Hold on. Yo! Look at those eyes. <laughs> those are the eyes of somebody who does not want a kid. He's under the bed. And he said he wants milk. Yeah, there he is. Hi, Billiam. How are you, son? You said nice view today? Oh, thank goodness. There really is a baby here. <gasps> and milk? I can get milk for him. No, I want the milk. Thank you for, for him. telling me. You really are helpful. Do you need anything? Are you hungry or thirsty? I'm just glad we found our son. I'm just glad we found our son, too. I'm going to get the milk. And I will see you later. Actually, I want to see what she says about that. Because she's a great mother. Yes, it's such a relief. And you can leave whenever you want. I'm not going to stop you. But you're welcome to stay and hang out with me and our son if you want. Yeah, sure. Um, I'll be back soon. I'll be back in about 18 years. 
So we are getting the Fook out of here, everybody! Yay. I'm so happy you'll stay with us. We can all be a family together. I'll go get some milk for our son, and we can all sit and eat dinner together later. This is going to be great. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. She didn't even stop us. Yo, this is amazing. All right, I'm getting the milk and cigarettes now. Let's just stay right here. I want to see what she says about that. Okay, be careful out there. And don't forget to come back soon, okay? I'll be here with our son. Yeah, um, <laughs> tell him I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see him under the bed? I don't want to leave you. This is too good. Hold on. I'm going to wait right here in the hallway. Yes, I can see him from here. He's safe and sound. Don't worry. Now go get that milk for our son. What does he look like? I'm curious. Imagine she says a demon. I will have the chills that kill, dude. He's a very cute baby with big brown eyes. And he's wearing a blue onesie. Honestly, he looks just like his mother. Oh, that is freaking creepy. He's wearing a blue onesie and has big brown eyes. What color is his hair? Why the hell would she say that? That is so specific. What the? What color is what? Oh. I'm sorry. Could you please clarify? What color is our son's hair? This is starting to get disturbing. Our son's what? Oh, his hair. It's dark brown, just like yours. I knew it. I'm not He's the going father. To be so My hair is black! So we escaped her by convincing her that we needed to get milk for our son. So happy I saw that comment. I actually want to try it again, but this time let's see what happens if we say we have a daughter. That was very interesting. Hello. I'm not going to lie. I'm Yen Chan, don't worry. You're not dreaming. You're in my living room. You fainted earlier, so I brought you here to take care of you. Thank you. Have you been taking care of our daughter? Of course. I've been taking care of you since you fainted. I even made some tea for you earlier. Are you feeling better now? I am feeling better. Is our daughter okay? I have to like really enunciate these things, you know? Cause I don't really speak English the best. So, sometimes daughter? my words are a little jumbled up. I'm sorry, but I don't have a daughter. Are you feeling okay? Maybe you're a bit confused after fainting earlier. Do you need anything? Our daughter is sleeping. Here is a picture of her. And then I'm just going to pretend I show a picture, I guess. Because we can trick her pretty easily. Don't say that. That makes me embraced. Put that knife away. You're scaring our daughter. What do you mean? I'm not scaring you. I just want to make sure you won't leave me. If you behave well and stay with me, we'll be very happy together. You don't need to worry about anything. I'll take care of you forever. Here is a picture of our daughter. Oh, what's that? Let me take a look. Yen Chan looks at the picture. Oh, I see. That's a picture of the blue parrot statues that used to be in my bedroom when I was a child. I had a pet parrot back then too, but I forget about it until now. Thank you for reminding me of these happy memories. Our daughter needs milk. I told you before, I don't have a daughter. But if you need anything else, I'll try my best to help you. Just let me know. Okay. So every situation is different because she was easily convinced that we had a son, but now Yen she doesn't Chan even think that we have sad any and confused. kid. I really don't remember having a daughter. Can you please tell me more about her? Maybe if I know what she looks like oh, or when she okay, was born, I might remember something. She has um, pink hair and a bloody sweater, just like her mom. I'm sorry. But that doesn't sound familiar to me. Maybe she's mistaking me for someone else? Anyway, it's getting late. 
Why don't you rest here for the night? I promise that I won't let anything bad happen to you. Our Uber Eats is outside. No, I won't open the door. I don't trust you. You're trying to trick me again. Damn it, yes you I am, but you don't care about me. Smart. You just want to leave me. But I won't let you. You're mine, and you're not leaving. Yen Chan seems very agitated and suspicious again. Someone is knocking at the door. If it's knocking, you have to open knocking it, right? Knocking at the door? Oh, that must be some visitors. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Sure. You just stay here and rest, okay? Yen Chan is calm and friendly again. Sure. Open the door. Okay, let me see who's at the door. Yes. Yen Chan walks towards the door and opens it. Hello, how can I help you? She looks friendly and hospitable towards the egoists. I'm gonna go get milk with our daughter, and I'm not coming back! Go, 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 go! Come on, 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 come on! Come on! Please! We can do this! Let's go! Yeah, buddy! One more thing before we end this episode. I want to see what happens if we convince her that we have a dog. <laughs> I'm Yen Chan. You shouldn't be or dizzy. Or maybe she's a cat but person if you are, she has cat Maybe ears. you should sit down for a bit. Do you remember how you got here? Yeah, we were walking our dog and I fell on my head. Yeah, that's a great way to start it off. Good job, Jay. I'm going to pat myself on the shoulder. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe you should take it easy for a bit. Would you like me to get you anything to make you feel better? Yes. I want to play with our dog. Made sure I enunciated that perfectly because that could have taken a different direction. Sure. I'd love to play with you. What kind of game do you want to play? No. Our pet dog. Woof woof bark bark. What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about your dog. Stop changing the subject. Our dog is outside. He got loose when I hit my head. We need to get him back. Please, look. It's the end of the world. He's probably on fire right now. Oh, I see. Maybe you should go look for your dog. I'll stay here and wait for you. Thank you so much. You are the best. Let's freaking go. We're three for three with escaping in this episode. Of course. I'm always here if you need me. Open the door! Would you like anything to drink or eat? I have some snacks in the kitchen. Open the door so I can look for our dog. Come on, and stop giving me that look. You're scaring people. I can't let you leave yet. It's not safe outside. Why don't you hang out with me for a while longer? We can play some games and have some fun together. How does that sound? We need to find our dog. It looks like fire outside. Like, that's really apocalypse type stuff right there. Come on. That's like, I don't know. That's like the Last of Us type stuff. <gasps> yes! Oh, no. I had no idea. Let's go find your dog right away. Yeah, Here, exactly. I'll oh, my God. No, 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 no. I thought you said we had to find our dog. You're just a bullshitter. You're a liar. I knew you were a cat person. Let's freaking go. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Three for three with escaping in this episode. We told her that we had a son, and then we told her that we had a daughter, and then we told her that we had a dog, and that's why I needed to get out of the room and escape. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. This has been such a unique game to play, and it has a lot of replay value, so I am having fun playing it because it's making me laugh just by the interaction of it all. It's, like, really, really unique. I've never played a game like this before. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, though. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that do